Welcome to CFC Fan TV. We are here to preview our cup game against Everton. Now, a lot of people don't put much value in this competition. I love it. I really want to win it. I hope we do, and I really hope that we can knock Everton out of it. Before I go into that, though, I need to remind you about my podcast. Please download it. I'm filming one tonight. I'm really excited about it. It's about Chelsea Football Club in the 1990s. Uh, the, the guy who runs, sorry, I called him the guy, my friend who runs uh, the Instagram account, CFC 90s, is coming into the studio and we are going to make a podcast all about following Chelsea and Chelsea Football Club in the decade uh, of the 90s. And I think it's going to be really, really good. So I will put the link somewhere in the description. Please check it out and subscribe if you haven't done it already. So, on to Everton. Like I said, I'm very, very excited about this game, but I think it's going to be tough. I think it's going to be really tough because they have sacked Komen. Bad timing for us. I could have done with that happening about 48 hours later. It wasn't the ideal timing, but I think we can still do it. It just changes the dynamic of this game because with, with Ronald Koeman in charge, I think that we were going to be fine. I think that we were going to coast into the next round. Now I think it's slightly more different. They have the shackles removed. Everything that Ronald Koeman was trying to do and made the way that he was making a lot of their players play, that's all over. The players can now express themselves in a different way. They've got David Unsworth in. He will be desperate to win this game. He, he, you know, he's got an eye on that job full time. So he will be really up for winning this game. Equally, the players like him. The players like Unsworth. So they will be doing their best to win for him. Um, I suppose we've got to put every game deserves to be put in context. And when you think about this game, we're playing Everton uh, tomorrow night. We then go to Bournemouth away, massive game, must win game in the league. And then we go to Rome away. So of the three very difficult games, a lot of people say that this Everton game is the least important. I suppose I would agree, but I still really want to win it. And I think we can. You know, this is an Everton team in disarray. Arsenal, who haven't looked particularly good this season, demolished them the other day. So we certainly can pick up where they left off and you know, get into the next round. I'm really up for this. Also, I am going to the draw. The draw for the Carabao Cup is taking place at Twitter, live on Twitter, and I'm going to the Twitter HQ to be part of that draw. We've got to be in it. I don't really want to go, I don't really want to go if we're not in it. So we have to be there. And also, anybody who turns their nose up a day out on Wembley, on Wembley Way in February is crazy. Uh, it's a huge competition. I'm really up for winning it. Fingers crossed we do. You know, I can remember the glory days of winning it. I'll be talking about this in the podcast for sure. But I can remember winning it in 1998 and being completely over the moon, besotted at the prospect of seeing Chelsea lift the trophy at Wembley. And I still feel the same. Of course, there's a hierarchy of trophies. I'm not saying that. But this is an opportunity to win silverware, put, put another trophy in the cabinet, make sure nobody else wins it. And it's a day out at Wembley. So... We have to win. We have to do it. And I think we can. Um, I think it's going to be a very interesting game. There's going to be a lot of interesting things to see. And the question that needs answering really is, can Michi Batshuayi, who I believe will start and lead the line, can he do it from the start? I did an open apology to Batshuayi yesterday. And I think I've been pretty hefty in my criticism of the way that he does a lot of things. And perhaps I haven't focused enough on what he can do. And that is put the ball in the back of the net. He is the master of it. I think he is, I think I said it in that video, but he scores a goal every 60 minutes. And of any player that's ever played more than five games in the Premier League, it's the best ever. It's the best ever conversion rate. He's top of that league. So he certainly deserves credit for that. So it's going to be very interesting to see if he can do it from the beginning of a match, lead the line, and I believe he can. And let's see if he can pass that test. It's also going to be very interesting to see who plays alongside him. I think Danny Drinkwater will start this game which is going to be nice to see. He will give us some depth, some added depth to that midfield because we've been lacking it, haven't we? We've been so desperate. You know, We were going into the game the other day and it looked like Cesc Fabregas was the only fit midfielder. So Danny Drinkwater, back fit, another option for Conte is only a good thing. So it's going to be very interesting to see how he gets on in this fixture. Um, I'll go through my team now. I did have a... Well, I was trying to get a graphic made, but I'm terrible at... Um, no... Craig, what is it? Photoshop. I'm terrible at Photoshop, so I don't have a graphic for you anymore because I couldn't do it. So I'm just going to read my team out. Sorry, we're going to go, we're kicking it old school on the uh, CFC Fan TV today. Uh, for me, it's Caballero in goal. It then goes Rudiger, Christensen, Cahill across the back. It then goes Zappa Costa on the right with Kennedy on the left. I think that those five at the back 
the need to play together. I think it gives the right people a rest. You know, Cesar Aspilicueta has come out of the side despite scoring a goal. Just find his form again, relax, get fit for the must-win game against Bournemouth. Moving slightly further forward, we've got Danny Drinkwater in there with Cesc Fabregas. In another circumstance, I would like to have rested Fabregas as well, but I don't think that we can throw Danny Drinkwater in there with somebody like Ethan Ampadu. It's just slightly too soon. I, I think we have a great opportunity to see Ampadu tomorrow, and I really hope we do, but I think Danny Drinkwater needs to get a bit of an understanding playing with Cesc Fabregas, who is generally going to be playing most Premier League games. Moving slightly further forward, we've got Masonda and William. Again, I think we're giving the right people a rest. I think William needs an opportunity to find his form again because he hasn't been playing very well. And I think this could be that opportunity. And I think that Masonda deserves his chance again. You know, he started in the last round, he scored a good goal. And this is another opportunity for him to prove himself. And up front, we've covered it already, but it's Mishy Batshuayi. So I'm excited. I'm convinced that we can win this game and I really hope we do. It would be so wonderful to win a trophy in February and, you know, quite a lot of times we've won one trophy and you go on to lift another one. Um, you know, you can think of the year that we won both domestic uh, cups under Mourinho when we beat Liverpool in the final in Cardiff, we then lifted the league. It does set the tone. So, let's get a victory and, yeah, on to Wembley we go. Go on you, Blaze. <laughs>